factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. Sum and difference of two cubes. So, cubes na tayo. Ang cubes, naka-ratio sa 3. So, ang exponent natin ay 3. So, sa title ng topic natin, mukhang mahirap siya. Pero actually, madali lang yan. So, let's say, meron tayong x cubed plus y cubed. O, paano daw natin siya ipa-factor out? So, first step natin, gawa ka ng parenthesis. Then, kunin mo yung cube root nito. Ang cube root niyan is x. Kay y cube naman, ang cube root niyan ay y. Then, ano yung sign natin? Positive. So, plus yung lalagay mo dyan. Yan. After ka magawa ng binomial, nagawa ka ng mas malaking trinomial, ng mas malaking parenthesis, kasi trinomial na yan. By this time, magpo-focus ka na dun sa binomial natin. So, ang first step naman natin dyan, dun sa binomial na produce natin, is square the first term. That is, x squared. Multiply the first and the second term. That is, x times y. x, y. Times negative. So, negative x, y. Times negative lagi, huwag kakalimutan yun. Then, square the second term. Positive y squared. So, pansin sa trinomial natin, si first and third term, positive din. Then, sa middle term natin, depende sa sign, o reverse nung, Nasa binomial natin. Kung positive na higing, negative siya. Try natin ng isa. Yung, let's say, a cube minus b cube. Ayan. Minus naman ngayon. So, cube root of a cube, that is, a. Anong sign natin? Minus. Then, cube root of b cube, that is, b. Then, gawa tayo ng malaking parenthesis. Sparse trinomial. Then, focus dito, square the first term, that is, a squared. Multiply the first and the second terms, negative ab times negative, positive na siya ngayon, ab. Then, square the second term, positive b squared. So, ganun lamang siya. So, recall natin, gawin natin yung shortcut. Cube root of the given. Uh, cube root nito, then cube root. And just copy the sign. Then, focus sa ating binomial. Square the first term. Multiply the first term and the second term times negative. Kaya nagkuha natin si middle term. Then, square the second term. So, yung ganun lang siya. Try natin ng madaling example. Number one, m cubed plus 125. First step, i-check nyo muna kung perfect cube sila. Or pwede ba silang i-factor gamit ang greatest common factor. Number one, perfect cube sila. Then wala din, din natin mga gamit sa GCF. So, gawa tayo ng malit na parenthesis mo na. Square, uh, cube root of m cube. That is m. Copy the sign plus cube root of 125 that is 5 times 5 times 5 or 5 cube 125 so, next or pwede nyo isulat kapag nahihirapan cube root nito is m cube root niyan is 5 ayan so para kapihin na lang then gawa ng bigger parenthesis focus na tayo ngayon dito first step square the first term that is m squared. Next, multiply the first term and the second term. m times 5, 5m. Times negative. So negative 5m. And last, square the second term. So 5 squared, 25. Plus 25. So ito na ngayon yung factor in form natin. Next, number two. Masyado bang mabilis? 
Magal-bagalan natin. Perfect cube. Tama. 64, perfect cube. Tama din. Wala naman sila greatest common factor. So, factor na natin siya. Cube root of 27. So, pwede natin isulat. 3 then Cube root of x cubed. X. Cube root of 64. That is 4 times 4 times 4. Or 4 cubed. So, isulat natin. Then, kapihin natin. 3x. Copy the sign. Negative. Then, cube root of 64. Which is 4. Then, focus na tayo ngayon dito. Bigger parenthesis. Square the first term. Focus tayo dyan. So, 3 squared. That is 9. Then, variable x squared. Next, multiply the first term and the second term. 3x times negative 4 is negative 12. Times negative. So, positive 12x. And last, square natin yan. Negative 4 times negative 4. Positive 16. Nakuha. Number 3 example. Dito, hindi siya perfect cube si 2. 1, 2, Hindi din siya perfect cube. Pero, pwede natin siyang i-factor as GCF. Common factor nila is 2. Sakuin natin. So, 2 times y cubed minus 128 divided by 2. That is 64. So, 64. So, we have 2 and factor na natin siya. Parenthesis. Cube root of y cubed. That is y minus cube root of 64 plus 4. Then, focus tayo dito sa smaller parenthesis natin sa ating binomial. Then, gawa tayo ng bigger parenthesis. Square the first term. Y square. Multiply the first and the second. So, negative 4y times negative. Positive 4y. Then, square the second term. Positive 60. So, yan na ngayon yung ating factored form. Okay, next example tayo. Number 4. 4. A cubed minus 8B cubed. Perfect cube and perfect cube. So, parenthesis. Cube root nito. A minus Cube root ni 8, 2, then 3. Then focus na tayo ngayon dito. Bigger parenthesis. Square the first term. That is A squared. Multiply the first and the second. Times negative. So positive na yan. 2, then A, B. Kanya yan. And square natin ito. Positive. 2 squared, 4. Then, B squared, B squared. Yun na nga factored form natin. Next, number five. Ah, fraction. Dahil may inis sa fraction. Per one-eighth, bilis mababa lang. So, ang eight is perfect cube ng two. So, two cube. So, kunin natin, parenthesis si x. Yan. Minus. Cube root of 1, 1 over cube root of 8, which is 2. Focus tayo ngayon dito. Square the x. That is x squared. Multiply the first and the second. So x times negative 1 half. So negative 1 half x times negative. Positive 1 half x. Then, square the second term. Positive, 1 square, 1 over 2 square, 4. So, ito na yung ating final answer. So, madali lang siya. Basta, more practice.